Look how gorgeous these are. I can't wait to show you guys how I created this design. You're going to take any light pink for your base color. I'm using 195 by LAC. Then I'm taking the black art gel by the Ugly Duckling. I did try to use regular black gel polish and even dark brown gel polish, but that didn't leave as much of a clean, opaque look as did the art gel. Then I'm taking the longest striper brush that I have. The longer the striper brush, the more detailed fine lines you'll get. And I'm not doing these lines in any particular way, just kind of creating two little lines, one bigger than the other, um, making it kind of swiggly and messy looking. This is going to be the branch to the cherry blossom flowers. So the perfectionist in me really said, nope. Go back and fix those branches and make them look better even though it honestly doesn't matter too much because we're going to go ahead and add the flowers over them but this is why i like to have my base include a top coat because i get to come back with a brush that has acetone to clean up any messes right this is especially a good technique when you're working with negative space nail art As you can see here, I only added a couple of branches to some nails and only one to the other just because, I don't know, I like the simplicity of doing less than more sometimes. So after you cure the black in your lamp for about, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds, maybe more so it doesn't smudge once you are applying the matte top coat. I did 30 seconds, um, that was pretty safe. But yeah, I am using the Born Pre Matte Top Coat, which I don't recommend, it's actually pretty streaky cheap um but i like to use it when i'm doing nail art if that makes sense so i don't use it as like a final matte top coat that i recommend or love but yeah this matte top coat is going to help the um black from staying and not smudging and going all over the place when i'm adding the flowers on it so on to creating the cherry blossom, I'm going to be using three colors. Um, I am taking this white art gel by the Ugly Duckling. Again, I did try to use just a regular white gel polish, but it, it was just difficult. I had to reapply many times and it was just taking longer to get the look that I wanted. And there was just a lot more definition when I used this white art gel. And then I'm going to use this red by the Gelish brand. It's called Stand Out and it actually turns out to be not very red. It's more like a fuchsia color. You'll see right now. You're going to take a flat art brush. I didn't happen to have one. So I'm using this brush that I use for a hard gel application um, and damping it a little bit with acetone, spreading the bristles, getting it ready for creating the flowers. On one side of the brush, you're going to dip it into the white and on the other side, you're going to dip a smaller amount of the red, burgundy, dark pink, whatever color uh, you choose for your cherry blossoms. Next, you're going to take the brush and you're going to pinch it at the top with your middle finger and thumb or whichever one is most comfortable and you're just going to dab lightly. Occasionally, if you want to go ahead and reapply some more paint onto your brush, uh, you want to have a good amount. If you don't have enough, it's going to be very difficult to get that flower on there. But also, if you have too much paint on your brush, it's going to come out like a glop. The white and the red color are not going to mix together as well. If you're not able to get enough white on there like I wasn't, uh, don't worry too much about it soon. I'm going to show you how I get more white on there using a dotting tool. This part is not necessary, it's more of like an optional choice. So I am taking this dark deep Burberry color from LAC. This is number 112. With my smallest, more tiniest dotting tool, I'm going to use this color and add it in the red part of each flower just because this is gonna help for there to be more definition. Um, it adds a pop. Again, optional, I really like it though. Keep in mind that I am using smaller dotting tools just because I do have a smaller set of nails. So I'm not, I don't have too much space to work with and I like my work to look more detailed, like elegant and simple. Um, here I'm going in with the white as I had mentioned earlier. I'm just kind of randomly adding it in no particular way. Um, as you can see here, it's already making the flowers look a little bit more vibrant. This was the fun part for me because I got to add dots all over the place, both red and white. I was especially adding them at the end of the branches. As 
as you're placing the white dots all over the place, don't be afraid to put them together as well as I'm doing here. I'm putting three dots together. And that's the final look. After you cure the art for about 30 seconds, go ahead and add your top coat. Um, I'm gonna keep rolling with this video if you guys wanna see how the rest of the nails came out. Thank you so much for watching and visiting my channel. I really hope that you found this quick tutorial super helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a blessed day. Bye.